Welcome back to the channel guys, Michael Lee here, your Realtor of the Palm Beaches, and I'm back with another video for you guys this week. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee, your Realtor of the Palm Beaches, and it's my job to help you guys find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city. Hope you guys consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new neighborhood tours as well as property tours. And to all of my subscribers currently, Welcome back. All right, so today, guys, I have a beautiful, beautiful home that I wanna show you guys, a five bedroom, five bathroom home, a little bit over 3,500 square feet that sits in the neighborhood of Avenir. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I did a tour about the neighborhood of Avenir a while back, and I'll put that link in the description below where you guys can check it out. Avenir is one of the newest developments in Palm Beach Gardens where we have custom built homes built by five different developers. And it's gonna be a beautiful community surrounded by shops, restaurants, and two, yes, right, two custom golf courses that have been built in Palm Beach Gardens. So this property that we're gonna to be touring this afternoon is going to be in La Tierra, a subdivision of Avenir. Now La Tierra sits on 92 homes in the community total, and they are custom built for families. They have expansive floor plans, and they go from all the way up from three bedrooms all the way up to five bedrooms and they all sit over 2,500 square feet. Like I said, the property we're gonna to be touring today is gonna to be over 3,500 square feet. And it's gonna sit on an expansive lot that sits over 9,500 square feet. So without further ado, let's go. Welcome to Avenir, guys, where we're going to check out this beautiful five bedroom, five bathroom home, just over 3,500 square feet. So we're going to start off in the foyer here. You see a beautiful light fixture, custom wall to the right. You know, I like how they didn't just leave it blank. They just added some contrast to the walls on either side. And if you go off starting to my left here immediately, this is the office space. I think it would be used perfectly as an office space with the barn door closures with the seat glass. So you can still see that you're in the office, but you need some privacy. Now the ceilings in here are about 10 feet. Got some ceiling fan right here at the front of the property as well. So you can see who's coming in and out of your office if you need to come to see you. Now, as we continue on, most of the floor plan is gonna be on the first floor, five bedrooms. That first office wouldn't be considered a bedroom because it doesn't really have a closet space, but you have four additional bedrooms that you need to as well. First guest bath here on the first floor. Now this package in here is from Restoration Hardware. So these sink basins if you go to the restoration hardware website you'll see those on there which i think was an added touch it's not a builder grade finish this was a new construction avenue is one of the newest homes here one of the newest neighborhoods as well open floor plan as you can see beautiful kitchen again with the restoration hardware collection finishes pendant lights it's massive countertop for Daily functioning for gatherings. Kids can do homework if they need to. Family gatherings, Christmas, Thanksgiving holidays. You can still be connected to the kitchen as well as the living room and dining room if you need to. Now, cabinetry, you have tons of storage space, which I love about these new construction builds, especially in the gardens area. You have tons of storage space with the pantry here. So... You definitely won't lack space in this home, right? Now, double pendant lights here. You can have a massive living room if you want it, or you can have just a separate dining space to this side with, you know, one of those corner tables, I would think. Or you can just have a large dining table here for family gatherings and with the living room here while you're still connected to the kitchen. So as we're gonna go down and check out one of the first bedrooms here. Also, right here. 
laundry room, right off to the side on the first floor. Can't be mad at that. Now, this one was where I thought was the master, but it's not. It is one of the first of three other bedrooms, but this can be used as like a mother-in-law suite if you need to, or a great guest suite, because it's right off the front door. Separate hallway into the bedroom as well. Now, this bedroom and bath does not have the restoration hardware finish. You can kind of see that's what the original builder had when the home was built originally. So they didn't have it throughout the home, but in most of the bathrooms, you do have that restoration hardware package throughout. So in your major areas, like your guest bath and your kitchen area, will have that restoration hardware finish throughout. Now, normally I'll leave the primary suite last, but since we're on the first floor, I would like to tour the first floor totally before we move upstairs. Now this primary suite is simply amazing. You have ample space for a king size bed, California king if you need to. You have the sunken in ceiling with the recessed lighting as well. Also with the restoration hardware pendant in the primary suite. You also have a view overlooking the backyard as well as the pool. So if you're in the bedroom and your kids are playing outside and you still need to keep track of what they're doing and you have to run in your bedroom or something, you can still keep track, which I think is a great point that they added as well. Now this master bathroom or primary bath is I think one of the best bathrooms I've toured on this channel so far. You have a beautiful tub, standalone, right in the middle of the bath. And you have his and her sinks both with the restoration hardware package as well with the pendant lights. This is beautifully done, tastefully done as well. So you have tons of storage space throughout the bathroom as well. Tons of counter space as well on both sides. Normally you'll have one counter space, have a little bit more for the lady of the house, but both sides equally have the same amount of space and storage, which I think is great. Separate walk-in toilet as well as a separate stand-in shower. Dual faucets, one on the wall, another handheld on the side, so just in case you guys can take a shower at the both at the same time. Now they left this blank, so you guys can add in shelving and an additional door if you want to close it off, but it does go all the way up to the ceiling, which adds an additional space for storage, and you can do whatever you wish, but I think that would be a great space for storage of towels if you need be. Now, with that being said, let's check out, before we leave the primary suite, the walk-in closet. Now, space for storage of your shoes, ample space for clothing. If you wanted to redo the closet into something a little bit more custom, there is room for that as well, but they just kind of kept it standard with the builder grade closet in here but you still have tons of space that you need to be. And you also have a ladder if you need to climb up to the ceiling if you need it. Now, let's go ahead and check out the second level of this beautiful home. Now, welcome to the second level where we're gonna have three bedroom, two baths up here on the second level. And we're gonna start with this open recreational space. Now, with the second level, if you have children, this would be the space where the children would probably hang out and they would leave the first level to you guys and the adults, especially when you're entertaining friends, family, their friends. You really don't want them in your space and you really don't want to be in their space too much. So this would be a great space where you guys can kind of turn it into whatever you need. Maybe a home workstation in the corner here, or maybe just even some nice comfortable couches with a television on the wall. You can really kind of go crazy and do whatever you need to do. Or if you are a single person with no children, this would be a great space for a gym or any other interests or activities that you have. I say gym because I love going to the gym each morning. So that's what I would probably put up here if I didn't have children. Now, let's tour the three bedrooms here. We're gonna go walk down the hallway and the first two bedrooms that we're gonna have here aren't going to include bathrooms. So this is gonna be mainly for your major bedrooms here, just basic. They're gonna be two of the smaller bedrooms throughout the house. So this would be maybe for your smaller children of the house. But you can't really go wrong. Nice view of the neighborhood as well. Looking across the street to other households if you need to. Now, 
Second bedroom, the same as the first. Pretty standard, nice big open window, tons of natural light, recessed lighting throughout, and your basic closet system. Now, both of these bedrooms will serve this main bath right across the hallway. As you see, you have dual sinks with the original packaging from the builder grade up here. So you have your dual sinks, you have your large mirror, as well as your walk-in for your separate toilet setup and basic tub and shower combination. This bedroom, the third bedroom now, is going to include their own separate bath. So three out of the five bathrooms are inside bedrooms. And that includes the primary suite. But what's unique about this particular bedroom is you have the walk-in closet with a window. So you have tons of natural light within the closet as well. I know sometimes closets can be dark and gloomy places, but this one, you have a ton of natural light within the closet as well as some recessed lighting. So that gives you an opportunity for you to have some great lighting in the closet, which I think is a very unique point in this model home here. All right. So with that, let's go check out the backyard space. So welcome to the backyard space, guys, where you have a nice covered patio outside with dual fans as well. So you can have a nice outdoor kitchen over here to the right with a television set up if you need to. And there is a setup for a gas grill if you can look closely out and walk in over there. So you do have a setup for the gas grill if you need to or a charcoal grill if you're a griller like myself. But this is a corner lot, so you will have one of the larger lots. This lot is about a little over 9,500 square feet. So this is one of the larger lots within the development. And you do have a pool included with a raised spa as well. So not only do you have the shade, you also have the raised spa as well as the walk-in stair entry and some additional grass space. Now, the one thing you don't really have yet is privacy but if you can see they have the plants going up around the backyard so you will have a little additional privacy from the street just give it some time for the plants to grow and you will have some privacy from that standpoint as well All right like i said five bedrooms five bathrooms just over 3500 square feet currently on the market for 1.5 and if you're interested in learning a little bit more information about this, guys, and you're still with me, just let me know in the comments below or send me a direct message. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.